Just remember, because I'm wearing a Pepsi hat, it does not mean that this video is sponsored by it. Anyway, today, I'm in your hospital. This is what happened. So, uh, uh, all the big stuff happened at the end, but here's basically what happened. So, Tracy, Felicia, Ethan, and Holly are flying on a plane to get back to Port Charles. And, um, uh, and... Holly, and Holly wants some questions out of Ethan, and she's trying to tell him, like, did Victor mention anything about his master plan? I mean, no, Victor's a criminal mastermind, and he had Ethan locked up for probably year, for years, and I think years, j just around. And so Ethan's like, no, not really. He just basically trapped me. So we got some lover and sun time. Uh, Ethan doesn't want to go back to Port Charles because he basically has nothing there. And so many people are looking for him. Like, so many people are looking for him. So he doesn't want to danger anybody in Port Charles. So he might go to Austria or Australia and stay there. And so Ethan's like, Holly, or Mom, uh, what is left for you in Port Charles? Probably friends and, Robert. well, Robert. <laughs> I was going to say Robert, and I was going to think about that. Speaking of Robert, something happens near the end. Ooh. Oh, yeah, also something with Tracy. Felicia and Tracy were talking, and at one point, Tracy had, like, a, her blindfold, a blue blindfold on, like, the same blue as my Pepsi hat, and, like, I'd taken a nap. But uh, the, dry, the driver, I think, said, everybody pay pay attention, buckle, you, buckle your seatbelts, because we're about to enter... In a matter of moments, we are about to enter the airport of Port Charles, New York. Okay, so we're heading to Port Charles. Holly's there. Felicia's back. Ethan's, Ethan's probably going to stay in Port Charles just for a little. And Tracy, you know she's a quartermaid. Wait, is she a quartermaid? Yeah. Okay, so she's related to Monica and Jason. Jason not on, but man, I'm a huge fan of Steve Burton. Um... Anyway, Michael and Will's wedding is today. Actually, we're going to drag it all week until Friday. Michael, Carly, Brooklyn, Olivia, Ned. Actually, let's cut out Ned. Michael, Carly, Brooklyn, and Olivia are in the planning the wedding. You know, it's a couple hours till and it's a couple hours till the wedding, and Willow's just resting for a couple hours. But Familia sound asleep. And Carly told Michael that Donna is, insists that Michael, sh that her big brother should have the best flower girls. Yeah, Donna's pretty cute. <laughs> Very cute. So, um, uh, Ned, I cut out Ned because he's doing all the ELQ stuff. He doesn't know how much Valentine is going through. His girlfriend is going through the ICU fighting for her life. She's not in my ICU anymore. She's still fighting for her life. And she... He has to deal with ELQ. So Ned is finally, try, finally, ex, or, sorry, he finally gets to call Valentine. He's been trying to text him and everything. So he finally succeeds to call. So Valentine's like, listen, I have a lot on my mind. My father's a credible mastermind. My Anna's fighting for her life in my ICU. That's, I think that's what he said. And that's like, listen, you got to get back to ELQ or else you're out. And then let me control if you're out. So Valentin hangs up and Ned's like, Valentin. Ugh. I mean, Michael and Ned are finally getting along. And he's, Ned's like, if only one day, just one day, you, Michael, you, me, and uh, Drew can have a talk about ELQ. But right now, this is not the day. It's Michael... Your wedding, Michael. We need to focus on that. Okay, so Ned at least had the heart for Michael. Michael's like, yeah, pretty excited. Brooklyn and Olivia, and I saw Ned getting a cup of wine or alcohol, which I thought that was bad because he's all focused on EOQ. And he starts drinking. Not pretty good. Not good. And so, okay, Laura. Speaking of Drew, Drew and Curtis are going to go on a... I call it an expedition, but it really isn't. That's what Lewis and Clark's expedition is called, an expedition. <laughs> so we're going somewhere, and we're going to track Victor and all of his hostages. 
on an island near Greenland, and Robert remembered somebody named Mikus back in the 1950s. That was a Robert quotes, that was the perfect time to go on to whoever Mikus is. I mean, General Hospital wasn't even going in the 1950s, so that's pretty weird. Um, Robert gets involved. Laura tells Robert not to go because he needs to contact the WSB immediately. They do all this. Mention Operation Demeter a little bit of times, which is a Greek goddess in myth mythology I, I can't pronounce that right anyway so Portia's checking on Anna seeing she's okay We're talking about their daughters and how Anna's like listen I've been in your position before it's fine and Portia's like I'm sorry for crying it's just my daughter oh that's when Anna said the position thing so we started talking and Valentine has a call then he gets the call from Ned well I don't really usually get stuff out of order and so Laura runs into Valentine and Laura tells, and Laura's keeping Valentine updated about all this Victor stuff. So Laura asks Valentine if Valentine wanted to go with Laura, Curtis, and Drew. And Valentine's like, no, I'll stay. So Laura, Curtis, and Drew have an hour to get ready, to get ready. And um, uh, Valentine changes his mind. He's like, room for one person? Change my mind. So, okay, Laura, Curtis, Drew, and Valentine. What a lineup of four people in the name of Port Charles. So all those four are going to take down Victor. Portia ended up taking a nap in her office, and Curtis goes to tell Portia goodbye. But Portia's asleep, so Curtis is going to write a note. And I wonder what Portia's reaction is going to be when she reads it. What else has happened? Oh, i got to get back to these scenes. Robert went to his office, and he's got a tough contact with WSB. He's got all these things on his mind. One thing he doesn't have in his mind is Holly. He does not know that Holly is in Port Charles. And Robert, sorry, speaking of Holly, let's go to a different woman named Diane, who has been really flirting with Robert. They're not considered a couple to themselves yet, but they did kiss me every day, so who? Anyway, okay, so we're getting together, and Holly gave me a knock. She comes in, and she almost ran into Robert and Diane kissing, but they back up. So, man, that's big. Speaking of Holly, let's go once again to a different woman, Tracy. Ned, Michael, Olivia, Brooklyn, and Carly. Another big lineup. Heard something. Carly was like, what is that? And everybody was like, well, what is that? What is that? So Ned's like, okay, I'm going to go open the door. He's like... Oh my God, Tracy comes in, which I laughed like, <laughs> I laughed so hard because like it was so funny how Tracy just walks in. She doesn't know if there's a wedding about to happen. She doesn't know what's going on. She just walks in. She's like, God, I got all these things on my mind. I can't wait to tell you guys what's going on. And anyway, so that's done. Holly, Robert, uh, Diane was gone. Anyway, Diane actually came in the episode late. Sorry, Diane. So that's gone. No Sprina, but a lot of Anna today. The um, uh, thing. Oh, last thing. If, for my wrestling fans, if you're watching Raw now, did you hear about... I don't want any spoilers, so cover yours right now if you haven't heard about this. But after the draft, Triple H announced a new WWE champion, and we got to see a, it live. I had to go in there while I was watching the show. It looked, it looked better than the new one. It looked like the old one. So Triple H is like, after the draft... So basically, whatever brand after the draft Roman Reigns is on, that other brand will, and one of the people in it will get the champion. For example, Roman Reigns stays on SmackDown, that champion will go to Raw. Oh, my wrestling fans, it's pretty big. Raw still happening live now. If there's anything else I forgot, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching my video. Also, send a like, and I'm hoping you're enjoying the ride.